In this video, we're going to continue our work with moments and look at another exam style question. We're told a non-uniform plank AB of mass 20 kilograms and length 6 meters is supported at both ends so that it is horizontal. When a woman of mass 60 kilograms stands on the plank at a distance of 2 meters from B, the magnitude of reaction at A is 35 G newtons. In part A, it says suggest a suitable model for one the plank and two the woman. The plank will be modelled now as a rod, so this isn't going to bend or flex. The woman will be modelled as a particle and her mass will be seen as acting in a central point. She will be small relative to our model. In part B, we're asked to calculate the magnitude of a reaction at B given our answer in terms of G. OK, let's go ahead and model this. So we've got a 6 metre non-uniform plank. The fact that it's non-uniform means that the mass doesn't now act evenly throughout the plank. It's not evenly distributed. Therefore, we can't go straight away and put now the weight acting down in the center. So let's put some supports on and we'll put one just here. Let's put that one just here and we'll put this just here. So this is just purely now to give you a visual representation of what's happening. We certainly don't need these in the diagram. Normal reaction at A, and we're given that value, and that's 35 G Newtons. We've got a normal reaction at B, which we need to find. We've got the woman standing two meters from B. She's gonna have a weight of 60 G Newtons. Weight is mass times by gravity. And also, we're going to have the weight now of the plank, and we don't know where that's gonna be. So I'm just gonna put it somewhere along here. So let's consider labelling up the forces. So what we've got then is 35 G Newtons. So this is A. We've got now 20 G Newtons. That is the weight of the plank. We've got 60 G Newtons. That is the weight of a woman. And that's a distance of 2 metres from B, where we've got now a normal reaction force, which I'm going to call R. So if we just consider that weight is equal to mass times by gravity, that's given in Newtons. All I've done now is assign those to the woman and now the plank. OK, so we need to calculate the magnitude of reaction at B, given our answer in terms of G. There's a key word in the question, and that is horizontal. Therefore, now the plank is in equilibrium. So we can say just here, if in equilibrium, so if in equilibrium, we can say moments about any point, moments will be equal to zero. So I can take moments about any point and they will be zero. And if I resolve in any direction, now using Newton's second law, they too will give me a value of zero. And that's something we need to state. If in equilibrium, moments about any point are zero. And then if we resolve in any direction using Newton's second law, F is equal to MA, that will now be zero. So what we need to do is solve R. So we've got one unknown, therefore we need one equation, and we're simply going to resolve upwards. So I can now say resolving upwards. I'm going to consider R and 35G. So R plus 35G will be equal now to 20G plus 60G. This is just using Newton's second law. So F is equal to MA. If you want, you can say R plus 35G minus 20G minus 60G is equal to zero, which is F is equal to MA with zero resultant. I prefer just to set now the vertical forces equal, those acting up and those acting down. So what have we got here? We've got R plus 35G will be equal to 80G. Subtracting 35G from both sides, we're going to have 45G Newtons. So we can say now that this reaction right here is 45G. OK, in part C it says explain briefly in the context of the problem the term non-uniform. We discussed that earlier. It essentially means now that the mass is not evenly distributed. Therefore, we can't put the weight acting down in the centre. It may be in the centre, but not necessarily. OK, in part D, we need to find the distance of the centre of mass from of the plank from A. OK, so let's go ahead and call this distance right here X. I could call it D or I could call it X. So what we've got then is this distance. That's unknown and that's what we're trying to solve. We want this distance right here. What I can do is take moments about any point. It's entirely up to me. Now, taking moments about A will give us a value of zero. The resultant moment will be zero if in equilibrium. So this distance is going to be x. The moment is a force times a perpendicular distance. 
So let's, and I'm going to do this two different ways. We'll do it one way and then we'll double check with our answer now using uh, moments about B. Now, my one concern about taking moments about A is that we have found this value of 45 G newtons. Ideally, I'd like to use the information I'm given to ensure my answer is correct. What I'm going to do is confirm that my answer is correct by taking moments first about A, then taking moments about B and showing that they'll give exactly the same value. So let's consider now moments, and we'll write moments about A. So moments about A will be equal to zero if in equilibrium. So I'll just make a note to the examiner just here. So let's look now. The moment is the force times the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance of this 35G force from A is zero. So let's consider this one. So what I'm going to do is set now the clockwise moments equal to the anti-clockwise moments. You could say the sum of the moments or resultant moment was zero by considering that anti-clockwise moments are positive, clockwise moments are negative, and setting moments to naught. I just like to look at the clockwise against the anti-clockwise. So the clockwise one, we're going to have a force, which is 20g, multiplied now by the perpendicular distance of x, plus this one right here. Now we know that this plank is 6 metres, therefore this distance from A to the woman is 4 metres. So plus 60g multiplied now by the 4 metres. And that must be equal now to this distance multiplied by this force. So we're going to have 45g multiplied by 6. So that now is an anti-clockwise moment. So the clockwise moments will be equal to the anti-clockwise moments if in equilibrium. Okay, let's tidy this up then and solve for x. Uh, certainly divide by g and we can divide by 5. So let's divide now both sides by 5g. So that's going to give me 4x. That's going to give me now uh, 48 plus 48. And that's going to give me now, divide this by 5g. That's going to give me now on here 54. Okay, so we've got 4x is equal to 6. And then x is 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. And that's 3 over 2 metres. So what we're saying now is that this distance is 3 over 2 metres. Now, if I taken, for example, moments about, uh, let's say I've taken moments about this point right here. Now, if I end up with a negative number, that simply means that the, uh, the, the point that we're looking for is actually the other side, or the force that we're looking for is the other side of the point we're, we're taking moments about. And don't worry if you get a negative answer. The magnitude will be the same. It's just saying it's that distance the other side. You've picked the wrong side. So that's, that's not an issue. We've done that. We've shown it's uh, going to be now 3.2. Now, what I'd like to do is ideally work with what I call the clean data. This is something that I found, and it might be right, it might not be right. So what we're going to do, we're just going to think about this now as something that I found. Instead, I could eliminate that by taking moments about B. So if I took moments about B, so moments about B, again, we could take them about any point. So moments about B will also be equal to zero. This now is in equilibrium, if that is the case. So what I could do is to follow. This distance is 6, so this distance is going to be 6 minus x. Now, I could call that distance right here. Instead, what I could do is call this distance d, if I wanted, and show that that is going to be 4.5. We could do that if we liked, uh, or we could just do 6 minus x. It really doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're taking moments about b. So let's look at this one right here. The force is going to be 60g, the distance is going to be 2. So we're going to have 60g multiplied by 2. We've got now this force right here. Now this is a distance of 6 minus x. So plus now we're going to have the 20g and then we're going to have now 6 minus x. Now that must be equal to this force right here multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is going to be the 35g multiplied now by this distance which we know to be 6. Again, this force right here is going to be a distance of zero, perpendicular distance from B is zero, therefore the moment will be zero. Okay, let's go ahead again and divide this through by 5G. So what's that going to give me? 24 plus now 4, lots of 6 minus X is equal to 7. Uh, what are we going to have if I divide that by 5G? We're going to have 42. Okay, so what have I got? I've got 48, so I've got 48 minus 4x is going to be equal to 42. So adding 4x to both sides, subtracting 42, 6 is going to be equal to 4x, and we can see that x, again, is going to be equal to 604, which is 3 over 2.
So that confirms that what I've done here is also correct. So you can see taking moments by any point will give you the, the same value. Again, this is in equilibrium, it's horizontal, we're told that we can resolve in any direction and the resultant will be zero. The resultant moment about any point will also be equal to zero. So there are our calculations. Remember, basic algebra tells us that if we've got two unknowns, we need at least two equations. If we've got one unknown, we need at least one equation. Uh, well, I say one equation, you will need one equation in this case. And you simply go ahead and solve. So there we go, we've done all the parts to this, and this is fairly similar to many of the questions that you're likely to get.